Hello and welcome to Art Theory, a program to highlight the creative and artistic careers of our fellow SFM alumni. With us, I am really glad to present Gabriel Garza, class of... 2000. 2000. Thank you, Gabriel, and welcome to our program. Can you tell us a little bit about your experience during your years at ASFM? Um, I was lucky enough to be a part of the generation that saw the dawning of the ES Lab, which was very important for me in high school. I think it was there that I realized that I wanted to pursue a career in the arts. I thought that that was the route that I wanted to pursue as a professional. And later in college, I decided that painting would be the path that I would embark upon. But I really do trace the root of that creative process to the Yes Lab, you know. I think all of us remember that experience with great warmth and, and it is still very inspiring. So I, I really do trace my, my creative origins, if you will, to the Yes Lab, for sure. I went to school in Wheaton College. I began in the class of 2000 and I graduated with the class of 2007, which spans seven years and I took uh, a small break from that time and came back to Monterrey and studied arts here. So I, I guess throughout those seven years in college, it dawned on me that I, I was going to spend the rest of my life in a studio, which is a very strange way to spend your time. And I guess more and more people, as we're living in confinement, I think that experience of being sort of confined into a very small space where you have to do a great many things is becoming more and more familiar. And I love it. I mean, I think it's essential to my, to my practice and my well-being. So right now, what is your inspiration? I want to go back to a story that I think began in 2012. And that is a story that happens in my residence, in my house, which is also my studio. I decided to insert a pond in the middle of that home in 2012 with the idea of returning that ecosystem to its natural surroundings. And that, that was a very important part for me as a painter to cite a place out of which the paintings would arise, to imagine a place that would maybe act as a, as a, a point of origin, as a site of origin for the paintings that was real in real space and real time. And when I shared those paintings and I asked people if they saw a real place coming from these paintings, People weren't really sure. And that's where I think my, my mind sort of shifted. And I began to think about painting as, as something that doesn't need to point to something that happens in real time and in real space. It might happen in memory or in dreams or as a collage of all of the above. I, I'm still working with this idea that painting could come from real time and real space, but also maybe as a kind of opening to a person's mind or a state of mind. But I definitely bring something of that experience into the studio. I think it has to do with maybe trying to recreate the sense of ease with which nature evolves. That sounds very vague, I realize, but it, it's, it's less about um, controlling every aspect of something and then just letting things sort of solve themselves and letting things coexist and that being okay in the canvas. I really want to highlight that there is such a strong community and cultural and artistic community in, uh, in ASFM and whoever wants to pursue an artistic career, what would you say to them right now? I would say stay connected to people in your generation, stay connected with people, even if they decide to study abroad, um, try to make it to a reunion. But I think, I mean, at least for me, great inspiration and sense of community has come from maintaining friendship through the years with people that I went to school with. I think that would be that would be essential. And I would I would again go back to the beginning, like some thing that I learned in Yes Lab was just to stay open and say yes to things. How do we find a way to say yes to, you know, whatever weird idea we have? How do we circumnavigate difficulty and, and our tendency to say no and, and find a new route, find a new way to get to where we want to be? 
I love that. We need to find new ways and we have to stay connected. And I feel that's the way um, this conversation and this art series started, getting connected with the artists, your experiences, and the fellow artists that will come after you. We will be definitely learning a lot. Thank you so much, Gabriel. Thank you for tuning in and we hope to see you soon. Thank you. Bye-bye.